Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's tutorial on Hadoop. In today's tutorial we will see what are the important configuration properties which are associated with Hadoop. Hadoop maintains it's a complex and very worse, uh, very verbose properties in its specific location. So let's connect to the node where the Hadoop is installed. In my environment, the Hadoop is installed at node 1. So I'm going to add that node. As I said, the Hadoop maintains the configuration property files at a particular location and that location is, it is etc inside Hadoop conf. Let me update this. This is conf. The properties files are capacity scheduler, common login, configuration, container executor, core site, DFS exclude, DFS data directory mount, Hadoop environment command that is CMD and Hadoop environment SH that means CMD for the Windows and SH for Unix environment. Hadoop matrix, Hadoop matrix 2, Hadoop policy, HDFS site, health check, KMS ACLS, KMS environment, KMS log4j, KMS site, we have the common log4j that is log4j properties, reduce map that is map reduce environment, map reduce environment SH for the Windows and Unix, map reduce queue that is template, map reduce site and site XML template. SSL related properties are SSL client and server which are have the XML files. There are two task files are available task log4j and task controller. YARN related properties like YARN environment, YARN site and YARN exclude. We have the topology mapping and topology script as well along with the secure and slaves. So these are the properties which are more common to the Hadoop. Out of that, core site and HDP site along with the map rate site, these are more relevant to the Hadoop that we, you may know for now. Then someone may ask where are the Hive, Zookeeper, Pig or Mat Ambari matrix system configuration files. So those files are not stored in the side the etc Hadoop configuration. Hadoop configuration contains its a core properties file. If you are looking for the any sub components such as fig, hive, you need to go to the some other directories. Before going to those directories, let's open few of the configuration files and see those files. In order to open, you can use the vi, then that give the uh, file name and it will open in the editor. You can see this is the site property file which is like uh, it's give the node uh, and some other properties like anonymous allowed or hcat group, hcat host etc. Let me uh, skip this so you can use the escape colon oh, I'm not having the control looks like that. Give the queue and explain command that is the unix command Similarly, we can open the HDF site and you will see a more interesting properties which reside inside this core file. So you can see the access token enable, initial delay, block size, what is the block size, short circuit, etc. So these are the major properties which are available inside this file. In order to create, I will use the queue. Mark. Similarly, we can go and check the other properties file also. Now let's see Ambari prop Ambari related Ambari application related properties. There are two locations where the Ambari configuration files are stored. First location is Ambari server. In order to go to the Ambari server configuration file, you have to go to the etc Ambari hyphen server one. So if you do the ls, you will find the server related configuration file. If you are looking for the agent, so as, as I mentioned Ambari server and Ambari agent are present, they maintain their own pro configuration files. So go to the agent location and con. If you do the ls, you will find Ambari agent related configuration files. Now let's see Hive related properties file. You know to see the Hive related properties file, you have to go to the etc Hive and con. If you do the ls minus ltr, you will see uh, the properties file with the time during what time those get created or updated. So these are the hive related properties. 
if you want to see the fig related property you can go to the etc fig config oh sorry it's a conf not config now let's do the ls minus ltr to see the pig related properties and here are the three pig related properties <coughs> environment pig and the log 4g the last the next configuration for the uh, configuration files for the zookeeper so you can go to the etc directory then you can go to the zookeeper and then one and these are the zookeeper related properties file now it's there is one more important property file that is hdfs default.xml where you can find that hdfs default xml that is not present inside the hadoop con that present at a important location and that location is nothing but one of the jar file we can use the jar command to display the name of hdfs hyphen default.xml file which is one of the default configuration file installed as a part of the hadoop the default files are typically installed as a part of the java jar files so let's get those default xml files in order to get as i mentioned we have to use the jar jar command use the tvf then you have to provide the location of the jar file in this case we have the user hdp that is hadoop then the version of the hadoop this is the current version we have in my environment and then subdirectory that is hadoop hyphen hdfs and then name of jar file the name of jar file is hado hyphen hdfs dot jar now we got the jar now if you want to see any particular property you can do that or if you want to see only xml file you can give the xml with the grep command now here you can see the default hdfs file hdfs hyphen default dot xml file it is a core file and it is only present in the jar file it is not present in the hadoop conf directory i hope by this session you will be able to understand what are the configuration files associated with hadoop associated with the sub components such as pig zookeeper hive or the ambari and now you will also be able to understand what is the core or the default configuration file and what is the location of those files you can subscribe my channel for the more interesting update about the hadoop thank you for watching video and have a nice time